in Dragonflight, Patch 10.1, Grievous, Quaking, and Volcanic are getting removed. Three new affixes are being introduced to Mythic Plus Season 2, and in this video, we're going to break them down. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Bogdan here. Blizzard just announced the three affixes that they are retiring for season two and the three new affixes they are introducing as well as a reworked one and they're also keeping one. Wowhead broke down this information into a neat article and we're going to go over it right now. So as you can see in the new season two Mythic Plus rotation, Quaking, Grievous and Volcanic will be retired and you will have incorporeal, afflicted, and entangling being introduced. So what are these three new affixes and how exactly do they work? Well, afflicted only works during combat. And what it does is it spawns souls that are afflicted with various debuffs, poisons, diseases, and curses. They're also missing some HP. So anybody in the party, whether it's the healer, a warlock, or maybe a tank that has a talent selected, they can dispel these mobs or heal them to full. It causes the mob to despawn. And if you do this before it finishes its 10 second cast, you will not be afflicted with the 100% reduced haste for 10 seconds. This affects the entire party. Now, entangling doesn't really do what the name says it does. It's not so much of a root, an entangle, but rather a snare. So an entangling vine is going to spawn. It's going to snare the party by 50%, reducing their movement speed by 50%. And if you do not move away from the vine within eight seconds, you are going to get stunned for three seconds. So there is a punishment for not moving outside of its range. A lot of classes have a lot of movement, displacing abilities, movement speed, increasing abilities in order to deal with this. And I'm pretty sure something like a mass dispel is going to become increasingly valuable during these weeks. The third and final Mythic Plus affix added in patch 10.1 season two of Dragonflight is incorporeal. This is another mechanic where a mob spawns, but you have to deal with it for 20 seconds. It has a 99% damage reduction aura and it takes no damage from AOE effects. And it will try to do various nasty things in order to interfere with the group. However, one cool thing about it is that this mob is susceptible to all forms of CC. If you fail to CC it, if you fail to deal with it, you will be hit with an 8 second 50% damage and healing reduction debuff. I don't know about you, but that sounds kind of nasty. Now here are my personal thoughts on afflicted. On a first view, it might seem like it's a healer affix and I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the community are going to do that. They're going to say, hey, it's a healer affix, healer deal with it. I'm not going to dispel it. I'm not going to try to off heal it. However, this is a great affix. For those of you that are super high achievers and really want to be very good at improving your overall skill in this game to shine in your groups. So if you're playing a class that can pick a spell, a talent, or you already have it baseline that can either dispel, decurse, remove a poison, your group will love you for it. And especially as you're playing higher and higher keys, the fact that your healer can focus a little bit more on DPS and maybe a little bit more on healing in certain tyrannical situations, this would be a great time for you to shine as a player. Tanks like Brewmasters, like Paladins, you can take poison removal. And if you play your cooldowns correctly, you can very easily fill in a global cooldown to dispel the mob and deal with it right away. Out of the three, I think this has the highest potential for players to definitely shine and rise above everybody else, especially as you're playing higher and higher keys, you're getting into higher and higher rating and maybe in some form of organized group. Entangling, oh boy. Now this one, it's in my opinion, a little bit worrying to be snared by 50% 
movement speed and also get punished to be stunned for three seconds, which if this happens to a tank, especially in high fortified, it's most likely a wipe. You might see a lot of situations where people might struggle a little bit. It might even not pay attention to the vine depending on how graphical it is on the screen. We already have a lot of ground effects in the game. Adding an extra one, I don't know how good that would be. And this does seem like it's more of a individual player reaction. Whether you overcome this affix or you get punished by it, it's more on the individual rather than the group. There isn't a huge potential to shine in your groups for this specific affix, unless maybe you're a shadow priest and you're just gonna be able to mass dispel people. It also depends how frequently this happens in combat. Is this a one-time occurrence? Is it multiple-time occurrence? One very annoying thing that can happen is when you're trying to chain pull packs and all of a sudden you're slowed by 50%. Or you're trying to min-max your DPS, moving out at the last second. And as you're trying to move out, all of a sudden this one spawns. Your movement speed is reduced by 50%. Now might actually get one shot by that ability. I wonder if they got their inspiration from Sturm Eater's boon. No DPS in history has ever gotten one shot when they used that trinket. I feel like this affix in particular can be very punishing for people that are trying to min max and it might actually be pretty annoying especially as you're dealing with a pack and you're trying to move to the next pack and now you're slowed by 50 percent pretty much putting extra seconds on the mythic plus timer that is just annoying at the end of the day because you're not really in great danger you're just slowing the key down by a few seconds. And if this repeats in the dungeon a few times, let's say 10 times and it removes two to three seconds at a time, that's an extra half a minute that you could have had at the end of the key to maybe time the key or to chest the key. Don't take me the wrong way. I'm not putting down the affix. I'm just simply anticipating some of the concerns and some of the issues that I see coming down the line as they're introducing this new affix into the rotation for season two. My thoughts on the incorporeal affix is that if you deal with the mob successfully for the 20 seconds that it has spawned, then you will not be dramatically punished. However, the tooltip does say that there are multiple of these mobs that spawn. Are we going to have an old explosive type situation? Are these going to keep spawning on top of spiteful, which is also an affix that's going to keep you in combat longer than intended. And is this ultimately an affix that people expect maybe tanks to deal with them, whole group to deal with them, I'm anticipating that if a lot of mobs do spawn during combat, so it's more than one at a time, pretty much need to bring AOE CC for every single key. Think about having to play Court of Stars impacts on every single dungeon when this affix is in the rotation for that specific week. I don't know if that sounds very fun. The fact that this mob cannot be defeated and it can only be CC'd, it already elevates this affix onto a level which further adds to the problems that we have already experienced, especially in the brand new dungeons. Mobs have more mechanics than bosses in Molten Core combined. There are a lot of priority interrupts, stuns, knocks, and in many cases, not just single target, but AOE. And if it's one thing that pugs are not great at is synchronicity, but more importantly, building a comp that is going to overcome both the dungeon mechanics, the boss mechanics, and that week's affixes. Personally, I am not looking forward to this affix, and it might actually turn out to not be that much of a fan favorite. However, I could be wrong, but I want to know what you think in the comments below. There are two more affixes we haven't spoken about. Explosive, and storming. Now they're not touching storming at all. Storming is gonna be the same, nothing happens to it. They'll have the tornadoes, they're gonna be annoying, but storming stays the same. They have reworked explosive. Here is the blue post that we got. 
updated affix, explosive. Fewer explosive orbs spawn, but they now have substantially higher health. What does this mean? I'm acting a little bit skeptical because we do not have specific numbers. We don't know what fewer means, and we do not know what substantially means. Are you increasing the health two times, three times, 10 times? What is substantially? And when you say fewer orbs, does that mean 25% less, 50% less, 10% less, 99% less? The fact that we don't have specific numbers on what these changes are going to be, there's also a lot of randomness to it. Just expect explosive to still be annoying and quite a bit of a nuisance to deal with. And not so much the, I'm just gonna let my healer deal with it or my tank deal with it or just one single DPS assigned to it. Rather something as a priority target that the whole group will have to switch to and dedicate resources to focusing it down instantly. There is one good change. They're increasing the cast time of the explosion from six seconds to eight seconds. Well, this information is definitely surprising and it does come as a breath of fresh air. They're also gonna make Vortex Pinnacle playable in this next iteration of the 10.1 PTR. So I encourage everybody to jump in, play the dungeon, test out the new affixes and share your thoughts, your opinion, your experiences, your feedback, with the developers. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, check out the other videos on this channel and I will see you guys in the next video.